Hey guys, so we are facing towards my front door. I just wanted to have some Halloween decor in the background. I filmed a main channel video here the other day and liked it. So we have some Silent Hill ambiance in the background. I will link this down below if you want you know, the ambiance in your house too. We leave this on a lot. We love the Silent Hill ambiance YouTube videos. They're amazing. So today we're gonna be doing kind of a different video. So I did a tier list ranking video on the my past Halloween costumes and Halloween tutorials that I've done on my main channel. So if you want to see that, I will link it. It's kind of Halloween related, so maybe you wanna check it out. It's another tier list kind of situation. So I thought it'd be cool to do a tier list of all of the subgenres, not probably not all of them, but we'll get to disclaimers in a second. The subgenres of horror, of the horror genre, and I'm going to be ranking them in a tier list. And this is gonna get people heated. I know for a fact um, people are gonna say that I'm missing a lot of subgenres. I have 20. I came up with 20 subgenres, so I know I'm probably missing some. This entire video is going to be very, very opinion based, obviously, because I'm ranking genres. So there's no need to make this intro super, super long. So let's just start screen recording this tier list and we'll get started. All right, so this is the same tier list that I used in my other ones. So I'm just going to first get rid of all these candy bars. We're not ranking those. Yeah, we're gonna do six categories in total, so I need to to leave six of the, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, for this first category, let's do the Supreme category. These are the best horror subgenres ever. The next one is gonna be pretty horrific. Basically just the second tier, that they're like good, but they're not my favorite kind of horror movies. And then for the third category, we're gonna do underdone, meaning that they aren't done enough, obviously. <laughs> and then next is hit or miss. Pretty self-explanatory for that one. And then the next category is overplayed, AKA overdone. Again, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> and lastly, just no, just no. I don't like them. All right, let's get started. First subgenre. these are in no order on my computer. Uh, possession. There's also like more subgenres within the subgenres, but we're not gonna make this too, too complicated. With possession movies, there's a couple different types of possession. There's the straightforward ones like Last Exorcism, Evil Dead, Amityville Horror kind of possession movies that are demonic in that way. And then there's ones that you wouldn't necessarily think of as possession, like Jennifer's Body and The Ring, too. Too. Is the flashing too, well, I'm little over here in this screen over here, so hopefully this flashing isn't too obnoxious. <laughs> anyway, Jennifer's Body and The Ring 2 are also technically possession movies. So I also wanna point out that I will be telling you my favorite three horror movies within each sub genre. So I'm going to be recommending 60 60 horror movies to you today. I think it's the most I've ever done in a single video. So for possession, I would say that my favorites are the Amityville Horror Remake, The Last Exorcism, and The Evil Dead Remake. So for possession though, as a genre, as a whole for these kind of exorcism type movies, I'm gonna put it in overplayed because I think we have had a lot of movies and it's been pretty consistent over the years as far as getting possession movies, you know, cause then we had like The Conjuring, which is more modern. So just in my opinion, they're a tad overplayed. Next up we have adventure horror. This is a good subgenre. Adventure horror, I like to think of movies like The Descent, uh, Green Inferno, also possibly Annihilation. Those would be my three recommendations for adventure horror. And I know exactly where I'm gonna put this category because I love adventure horror. I think it's really cool. And I'm gonna say it's underdone. We haven't had a good adventure horror in a minute. Body horror. So this is kind of the grotesque kind of Horror, not to be confused with like the splatter genre, which we'll get to. That's another one on this list. My top three body horror type movies that I would recommend are The Thing, uh, Tusk, and also Starry Eyes. Even though Starry Eyes is not too much body horror, like The Thing is obviously straightforward. You know, lots and lots of body horror in that one. <laughs> but Starry Eyes is one of my favorite, hands down, underrated uh, movies in general, so definitely recommend that. I'm gonna put this in pretty horrific. A lot of my favorite movies are indeed body horror, like The Thing, John Carpenter's The Thing is one of my favorite movies of all time, so it's going in that category. Next we have The Slasher, classic 
subgenre of horror. Um, yeah, that's, I, yeah, I'm gonna put that, you probably can guess where I'm gonna put that. Overplayed! <laughs> Listen, I love a good slasher movie. I appreciate a slasher. I just think they are a little bit overdone. I think people try to reinvent the wheel when it comes to slasher movies. And there could be some really creative ones too, but with these kind of classic subgenres, I think you have to, you know, do something unique with them. That being said, my favorite slasher is Texas Chainsaw, and I also love the original Black Christmas. I think that's an amazing slasher, and I would say Wolf Creek also in this category would be a really, really good one. Haunted House. Ooh, I love a good haunted house movie. My top three in this category would probably be The Conjuring 2, uh, House on Haunted Hill, the 1999 one. I love that movie so much. So underrated and made fun of for no reason. It, I know it's cheesy, but it's actually really scary. And also The Others. The Others is an amazing movie. I'm gonna put this in Supreme. It's one of my favorite, favorite sub-genres of horror. It is just it's so good every time. I never get tired of Haunted House stories, even though they might be a little overdone. Some of you probably think they're overdone by now, but I can never get enough of them. <laughs> Next up, we have Creature Feature. Um, I'm, I have mixed opinions about creature movies because although they can be effective, and I obviously have some favorites, um, they're not they're not my favorite subgenre at all. <laughs> my top three in Creature Feature would probably have to be The Mist, most recently Underwater. I think that was a fantastic creature movie, and also The Ritual. The Ritual, oh my god, is such a, an amazing movie. So it's movies like that that make me rethink my opinion on Creature Feature because typically I don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna say it's a hit or miss for me. Next up, Found footage subgenre. This is one of my favorites. Oh, by the way, speaking of found footage, uh, I made a TikTok about it. I'm on TikTok now, you guys. I make uh, horror content on TikTok primarily. I'm trying to focus on that and also some Harry Potter content here and there. So if you're on TikTok, go follow me. Here's my username. And yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I made a found footage TikTok anyway. So this is a supreme subgenre for me. I love found footage. Again, probably overplayed for most of you, but for me, I never get tired of it. It's one of my favorite, favorite subgenres. As far as top three, obviously I have to choose classic Blair Witch Project. Uh, the Taking of Deborah Logan is one of my favorite found footage movies. It's just one of the most effective for me and also As Above, So Below, super underrated. Although a lot of people love it, it's just an amazing found footage movie. Next up, we have Exploitation, oh Lord. So there's a lot of different types of exploitation movies, obviously. The ones that I don't like the most is sexploitation, right? Things like a Serbian film, things like that are just, it's just a pass for me. I can't handle a lot of exploitation movies. Uh, I Spit on Your Grave is another one. As far as favorites, I only have two that I can think of and I've only seen these two the one time and that is Martyrs and Last House on the Left. I think those two are the best as far as like good examples that are actually good. They do the genre really well in my opinion. Things like Serbian film, no, just no. So we're gonna put exploitation in just no though. That's just, I don't like these movies at all. I can watch them one time and then I'm done and that's it. So I don't know, I don't know. It's just, if I know a movie is an exploitation movie in some way or is exploitation or something like that or there's like violence in there, that way, um, I'm gonna not watch it. I'm gonna do my best to avoid it. Next subgenre, zombie. Zombie subgenre. There's a couple different types of zombie subgenres, of course. There is the virus zombie and the undead zombie. So the ones that die first and then come back, you know, to be a zombie, and then the ones that contract a virus and turn into a zombie from there. Typically, I like the more virus-based zombie movies than the traditional undead movies. My favorites within that subgenre of the subgenre would be Quarantine, uh, Contracted, although that one's a very disturbing type story, so trigger warning on that one. And Pontypool, of course. That's a very unique vi virus. Can it be called a virus zombie movie? If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, another honorable mentions would be uh, It Stains the Sands Red. I think that's a really unique zombie movie. That's a little bit more of an undead. And then the crazies, which is a virus. Uh, so for zombie though, I, I gotta do it. I gotta put it in overplayed. It is just overplayed at this point. It's, it's not my favorite subgenre. Some of the movies within it are really amazing and very unique, but for me, it's overplayed. Home Invasion. I've said this a couple times on my channel. Home Invasion is one of my least favorite subgenres of horror. I just don't 
it's not super effective for me personally. That being said, there are a lot of movies that are technically home invasion that I really like. One of them being Funny Games, the original and the remake, I think are both fantastic and like prime home invasion type movies. Hush is really effective for me as well. And Your Next is technically a found or a home invasion as well. So I can't say I hate this genre or it's like my least favorite subgenre because I do like those movies, but I'm gonna put it in hit or miss because it, it really is just a hit or miss for me. Again, it's one of those that has to be really creative to make it scary for me because they're just not scary. I, I don't know why they're not effective for me, but they just, they just aren't. Alien. So I have Alien and then I also have, let me just bring it up right now. I have Alien and Sci-Fi, okay? So these I put in separate categories because I see them as different. I think there's a difference between straight up sci-fi horror and Alien. Alien can fall into sci-fi horror, but I'm, I'm making it complicated, more complicated than it needs to be. But to me, they're different, okay? And I'll tell you why. I'll give you examples. <laughs> sci-fi movies, to me, the examples I have, they all take place in space, which are amazing. Things like Life or the movie Alien, to me, are sci-fi movies. Also the movie Sunshine, which if you have not seen that, oh my gosh, one of my favorite space movies ever. Those, to me, are more sci-fi based uh, horror movies, even though Alien itself has aliens in it. It, it could cross over, I guess, I don't know. Let me know if I'm not alone in this kind of opinion. <laughs> Alien movies to me are more like Signs or The Fourth Kind. Movies like Cloverfield or Slither or even The Faculty. These are more straight up alien movies that aren't heavy on the sci-fi, if you see my, the difference between these. <laughs> so Alien, horror movies, I'm gonna put in pretty horrific because I love the alien type horror movies. I like them to feel pretty realistic. So I prefer to watch the more alien movies that are based on Earth, even though I love space and space movies. The sci-fi subgenre of horror just isn't my favorite. So we're gonna put this in, what do we put this in? Hit or miss? We're gonna put it in hit or miss. Next up, we have comedy horror. This, ugh, it's hard because generally I don't love this subgenre, but the movies that I have as my favorites and that I recommend within it are really good. Um, and they were my favorite movies at one point or another, this being one of them, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. I love Cabin in the Woods. And more recently, Ready or Not came out. I would consider that kind of a dark, uh, comedy. So for this, I'm going to put in hit or miss as well, just because I do like some of them, but generally this is just not my favorite subgenre at all. Next up, psychological horror. Now this is kind of more of a broad uh, subgenre, I would say, and a lot of different facets in the psychological type horror movie. My top three for these would have to be Get Out, uh, Creep, and The Gift. The Gift is a little bit more uh, thriller drama kind of thing. I feel like psychological can often cross over with uh, subtle drama thriller type horror movies, but they still kind of fall in that category for me. So for psychological movies though, psychological horror movies are some of my favorites. So they're going in Supreme. I mean, Get Out is one of my favorite movies, so I have to include it in Supreme. It is just top tier for me. The splatter subgenre. This is more like Saw, Final Destination, the super, super gory ones that aren't necessarily a slasher movie because I think there is a difference there. So my favorites in this are obviously Saw and Final Destination, but also I would say American Mary kind of falls in that as well. You could consider American Mary a classic type of slasher as well. Um, but for splatter, let's see. Let's put it in overplayed. I'm gonna put it in overplayed. I love the splatter genre, but it's very overdone at this point, I would say. I think a lot of people try to use it for shock value, and we have a lot of splatter type movies nowadays with gore, and it's just not my favorite. I like them, but it's not my favorite. Spirits. I think you guys know where this is gonna go. Um, so this supernatural is kind of another broad term 
for a subgenre, there's a lot of different types of supernatural. So I tried to break it down as best I could with like spirits, possession, haunted house. I think these all are considered uh, supernatural horror movies, but spirits specifically like The Ring and Mama and Shudder, which is a Thai horror movie, which is phenomenal. One of my favorites. I love that movie. This is top tier for me. This is probably my favorite horror subgenre of all time is spirits. So obviously that's going right up here. Next up we have action horror. So these are ones again that kind of cross over into other genres. So this one being action and horror, something like Upgrade. Another favorite in this would be Overlord. I think that one is so underrated and so amazing. Also a recent movie, The Hunt, I think would fit into this category as well. And I think the movies such as like The Purge and Predator would also fit in the action horror subgenre because they aren't necessarily necessarily suspenseful or super horrifying in my opinion. I mean, you tell me if you disagree, but I think when action crosses over with horror, it makes it a little less horrifying. That's just my opinion though. So where do we put you action? I'm going to put it in hit or miss. I know I'm putting a lot of subgenres in there and I apologize, but it just, it's the most fitting. All right, next we have dystopian horror. Oh, oh my gosh. I love dystopian horror. Dystopian movies in general are some of my favorite type of movies. So it goes without saying that dystopian horror would be up there for me. My top three dystopian horrors would be Captive State, which I think not a lot of people talk about that movie. It has John Goodman in it. It is amazing. That's what the still is from. Also the platform that recently came out on Netflix. I think that was an amazing movie and not a lot of people loved it, but I loved it. And also Battle Royale, I think would fit in dystopian horror as well. That can also be kind of an action based movie, but it's lots of gore. So maybe it could be in splatter too. I don't know. <laughs> that, that movie has a lot of, a lot of genres. That goes without saying though, that a lot of movies in general have a lot of genres that can be associated with them. So picking just one genre for movies isn't necessarily fair. I just want to throw that out there. So dystopian horror though, I have to put this in underdone. I want to see way more dystopian horror movies. They're some of my favorite. And I feel like we could really get into that genre now with all the technology that we have and the effects that we could use. I just think this is an amazing and underrated subgenre. All right, we're getting down to the end here, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> Anthology horror movies. I think these are fantastic because we get a lot of content within a feature length film. <laughs> My favorite within this would be Trick or Treat, uh, the VHS movies, and also Southbound I think is pretty underrated. I think the ABCs of Death would fall into this as well, obviously. So for anthology, where should I put you? Let's put you in Underdone as well, because I think we could use a lot more of them in the horror genre. Personally, I love reading short fiction, like short story collections. So to have them be movies and they're like shorts, I think is really cool. All right, I think this is the last one. Are you ready? Anyone wanna guess what the genre is going to be? Any that I missed? Was it gothic? Did you think about that one? <laughs> Again, gothic horror, I think kind of crosses over with other genres as well, like thriller and more suspenseful that's not really super horrific, but movies like Sleepy Hollow, The Woman in Black, those are some of my favorites. Interview with the Vampire, amazing movies. And I think gothic horror doesn't really get a lot of credit, so I'm gonna put it in Underdone as well because I would love more gothic horror. I mean, the ambiance, the beauty and the atmosphere of them is just gorgeous. Okay, so those are my 20 subgenres of horror ranked in a tier list. I would love to hear your ranking for these genres or any that you think I missed. If you want to include them in a comment, I would love to hear your feedback and what your thoughts are on all of these as well. Were there subgenres in here that you didn't think of before? Um, I highly recommend if that's the case, you look into them. Obviously we can, we all know about the famous one slasher, haunted house possession, but what about dystopian and gothic? So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this video down below. If you want me to do future tier lists, any other categories you want me to rank. I thought this would be a good generic one to start with because it's just genres. Um, but if there's anything else you want to see me rank in a tier list, please leave it down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.